All right, good morning, everybody. So we are out here bright and early in Riverside, California. We are not at your typical project. This is actually a pond that's gonna be built for horses. Horses are gonna be able to go in there, take a swim, take a dip and a drink, who knows, whatever horses do. But all I know is no one else is doing this, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, to follow along, see this project go in the ground. We're coming across all types of different unknowns down in here, as you can see, it's very muddy and we have a lot of logistics to handle here, a lot of dirt. I'm actually gonna go be looking for dirt right now. Uh, a lot of dirt in my life, and rock, so you can follow along and uh, see this project get finished. All right, let's see it. The waterfalls are all tucked in on this side, so they kind of go back around with the wetland up top and just normal rock edge all along this side. We're gonna do a lot of planter pockets if we can to help hide that wall. Probably have a jet here shooting the water off the top of the sandy area, all down into the pump vault on that side. We're gonna probably need some jets on this side, pushing water that way. The tape measure down in there is about three feet deep and it's just dirt at the bottom. got some swampy stuff going on down here so what we're doing is doing some exploration holes here and we're also bringing in some dry dirt kind of doing a little mixing here this should be a pretty interesting project and this is actually going to be a horse ramp that we're standing in right here we're going to be taking off the top course of brick all the way along here. i think the homeowner wanted to do that i think that's a really good idea too it'll make our life a little easier i dug a little deep area here i'm kind of exploring down seeing where the seven foot mark is uh to see what kind of material we have down there looking pretty sandy which i like get away from some of this clay nasty muck i'm going down into it Oh yeah, look at this. All right, beautiful. That's exactly what I want to see. Nice compactable sand down here at the bottom. All right, well, believe it or not, it's definitely progress we got going on out here in Riverside. Very muddy conditions, as you can see from what I'm standing on, but we are bringing in load after load of a base material, which is a road base. And road base is a very good compacting material actually concrete that's crushed down into uh, gravel but what makes it compact are all the angular little pieces that are in here and they're different sizes so they all can compact together rather than gravel that's all the same size or stuff that has a lot of dirt in it it won't compact so this is all uh, there's a lot of fine particles in this base but uh, it's a lot better than that mud that we got over there so it's a good sign, it's progress. All right, it is an exciting day out here at the horse pond. We are setting the liner because we got the uh, storm coming in tonight. So the guys have everything set up. We pretty much have the entire crew here. They have excavated this thing very nicely. We got it down to a very deep grade. We're shooting for seven feet. So that is a 50 by 100 foot roll of liner that we are gonna start by putting right up here, and rolling it down that way 100 feet and flipping it out, getting all this liner in place so that when the rains come tonight, we are covered. I'm seven feet down, seven feet under water level here. So we're leaving plenty of liner on this side. We're gonna roll it all the way down here and uh, use some muscle to push it up the hill on that side. Can't believe you guys rolled that down there without me. Push it up. <laughs> That's my boy, Jesus. 
got the idea, right? Let's go. This is all gonna be our wetland filter here. We already dug all this dirt out. We're about four feet down right now. We're gonna have a layer of aqua blocks. Obviously, the thing's gonna get fine tuned in, but we're gonna have a big, big wetland filter. We're gonna have our waterfalls that are gonna come right over this, but enough to give it some sound and enough to give it some aeration and uh, just make it look natural like it's been here for a million years. Boys are talking about this is gonna be our intake bay here for the entire pond. This is where we're gonna have all of our pumps and uh, the overflow going into this drainage channel, which is down here as well too. We're gonna pull the top sheet of water in here. We want like intakes coming from this side, from that side. We can set some rocks in the center and that'll create some suction. And we're also gonna have a set of jets all the way along the outside. I think we decided to do three inch line and then have those tee down. And we're gonna probably have five or six jets all along that side of the pond pushing this way. Catch the debris and all congregates here where you can rake it off the gravel area. project because there's going to be horses swimming in it. So cobbling and put an extra layer of gravel down on the bottom so the horses can actually come in and enter this pond, swim in here, turn around in the deep area, come back. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful looking scene. They have, this is the double sided tape here. So we got the 150 foot side there and the 50 by 70 foot here. And we're going to show you right now how we do this. So this is a good example of the seam, right? So we got the seam above the water line here. You can see where the single-sided tape right here, the six inch tape goes up. And then we got this side here with the double-sided tape right below it there. Look at that, how it's stuck. I mean, you can't even pull that apart. It'll, it'll tear the liner before it starts to come apart. So that's your seam between the double-sided here and the single-sided. Then you have another protection barrier over the top of it right there. So it's a beautiful looking scene. It makes me so proud. I can see where the where the guys have envisioned. They got water coming through this little chicane over this. This is gonna be like an old beach area here. And the water level, you know, right about here. So this is gonna look really cool when they got water cascading. We got five pumps, one of them's going there, four of them are going up here into the wetland filter. So when that thing's plugged in and all the pumps are running, we're gonna have a really cool waterfall running on this. So we got a lot of rock on this project. We got different size aggregates that we're using to create a shield on top of our liner so that when the horse's hoofs are doing its thing, it's not on top of liner or also it's, it's not moving a lot of rock that's going to damage the liner below. So what we have is some three to five inch cobble down here. So we're going to lay all that, a big layer of that down. It's going to be the first layer and then we're going to fill in all the gaps between that with the one inch gravel. So that will in turn just all interlock as we set it in. It's going to create a nice shield for the, the horses to uh, walk around on. Yeah, this is going to be the finishing touch of our horse vlog. The horse pond owner is right here with us and he's we're going over the last little finishing touches on this pond, but it came out incredible through all the muck and mud and all the different things that we ran into at the bottom of this. It really came out good. So hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Have you enjoyed us having it around your house? Great job. All right. Thank you. That's good. See, right from the homeowner there. We're gonna sneak in a little bit of the horse footage before this. I haven't seen the horses in there, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Till next time, see ya.
potatoes of the whole filtration of this is the wetland filter. So we're gonna go up there and check that out. Above the waterfalls leading into the pond is our wetland filter. On this project, it's approximately 20 feet long by five feet wide by three feet deep, filled with a combination of cobbles, lava rock, and gravel. This is creating surface space for our bacteria to cling to and area for plants to grow. Below all this material is a layer of aqua blocks. This allows the water to disperse evenly and percolate through all the lava rock and gravel so the bacteria can consume the nutrients that's in the water. This is how we get crystal clear water on all of our ponds, creating minimal algae growth and low maintenance. We will rely on this wetland filter to do 99% of the filtration on this project. As you can see, our wetland filters look very natural and they're hard to see when we're finished. All right, well, we are wrapping up this horse vlog with a uh, horse in the pond. That's Boomer and Emma. They're out here enjoying themselves, uh, taking in the pond on this hot spring day. It's gonna be a hot summer, so we know Boomer and Emma and Rod are gonna enjoy this pond very much. How, what do you guys think? How do you like it so far? <laughs> All right, it worked. Boomer, he's happy. That's all we know. Boomer's the stallion of the group here, so he is a happy horse, and hopefully you guys are happy enjoying our horse vlog. It was a, a very informative vlog, hopefully for you guys. Um, it was for me doing it. Uh, this was a big project. We had a lot of little obstacles to run into on this, but we got through it, and the end result is happy customers, happy horse. So until next time, have a good one. Thank you.